I listened to what uh, Pauline said and what Mary said, and you record it and uh, oh boy, security, security. It's a shame that uh, someone who is from Isaland came to Isaland to campaign, and instead of telling us, empathizing with us about what we were going through, you heard the story of how people were, a, a man went to the farm with his wife and he was murdered. He was telling us that we were becoming millionaires by going to the farm. He was asking people to raise, uh, raise their hands, all people that were making millions from cassava. And I was looking at him. I said, is he aware that people don't go to farm anymore? I don't think he's aware. He doesn't know what's, what is going on with our people, with his people. That's why he was saying, una, 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 not about us, 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 because he does not understand. He's a foreigner. He's not part of us. So now people are saying that security is very important. They need to deal with security first. It's important. And I, I trust the governor elect because his ideology of governance revolves around about practical governance. And that is what everyone has been talking about here understanding the need of the people. What is important in a do central might not be what is at the moment important in a do south. So you don't use a blanket thing to say, okay, I'm going to do this for a do people. What do you want? If there's security issues in a do central, find a way to solve it. Layers with the people. It is called teamwork collaborate bring people together people that can solve it not people who do not know anything about it so and i trust the governor elect akbako denko akbako misa and denko that they will come together i don't know denko but the moment he became a member of the house of red from ovia i see how the people were talking about him they were praising him that was why when he faced the election the second time, even when he was fighting against the might of the Benedians, he was able to come back. So it means he knows how to work with the community. So two of them becoming, working together, they are going to be unbeatable. They are going to be unbeatable. Practical governance, looking at what is there, respecting the elders, respecting the leaders, paying attention, paying no, being lawyer, being lawyer not mean that being just being a weak man to the traditional rulers or your leaders. I love the way they went to our paramount king yesterday. The moment the result was announced, they went there to say, okay, let's pay loyalty visit to the Oba of Benin. Because the Oba of Benin has been, has been getting too much negative heat from the outgoing governor, Obaseki, and his team. The Oba of Benin is the father of each and every one of us. Is as important as you can think of. If he does any wrong, we will talk about it. Not when he has not done anything wrong. Then you just want to, you know, demean his status. You want to reduce his uh, personality. It's unacceptable. So we don't want that from the next government. We want the next government to respect our traditional rulers. Give them their... Uh, you know, they, whatever they desire. Respect the leaders. Respecting the leaders does not mean opening the state coffers and giving them the money. He's not going to do that. I trust him he's not going to do that. So when they were blackmailing him saying, I'm going to be loyal to my leaders. Look at the one that is not loyal to his leaders. Where did he end it now? If he was able, if he had shown leadership, I'm sure PDP being, a uh, state being, uh, a PDP uh, state, he would have won that election. But when you do away with your traditional rulers, you do away with your uh, the party leaders, you do away with even ordinary people, and you expect to win election, it's not possible. So that teamwork is there, that respect for the elders is there, respect for the traditional rulers is there, and knowing what the people want. That is the ideology of practical governance that Akbakum is a, took around all over all over those states saying 
what do you need? And he has been doing that. He goes to community, you need water. Okay, let's find, I don't have the power. Let's find how we can uh, construct a borehole here. Oh, that other place, they don't have uh, they don't have classroom in the school. He he helped them to, you know, erect classroom in the school. Okay, the other one, uh, they need uh, head, the, to renovate the headset also. He goes to do it. One or two roles that he has helped to revamp any war. You know, he's doing all these things. He goes to Ambosali University and pays scholarship for people. That is as an individual. Now he has he is now occupying a position where he can do this thing in a bigger level. At this point, it is about prioritization. It is about practical governance, going to community and say, the winners, like you said, what do we need in this place? Let's start with it. If you do this in Oriomo, because this is what they need, it doesn't mean that when you go to Emu or Ewohimi or Urumi or Irwekbe or Auchi or Aganebude, that is what they need immediately in those places. You need to ask them. What do they need? But to be able to do this, like you said, we can't, you know, emphasize it enough that there has to be teamwork. There has to be collaboration. There is no woman knows it all. That is what we are moving away from now. It's going to be a new beginning. A Paco rescue. We're going to get away from there. That is what the people expect. That is what we expect. And we know, we have no doubt, Apakuminza being a homeboy, that is what he's going to do. So I want to thank you all. This is just to kickstart the, the test the mic. Because as long as Apakuminza remains in power, we're going to do this to help to mold the mood of the people and to help to help, you know, to get to where we are going.